Hey guys, it's Crazy Lords here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys, or more of a tutorial, on how to do all the expert missions. You know, from these little weird portals that just appear. Now, you, when you're barely starting, you're not going to be seeing a whole bunch. Like, as you can see from my point of view, you see a whole bunch of them. They're all everywhere, right? But when you're barely starting, all you're going to see is either this one and that one. Only two. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through each and every one of them. If I'm correct, I think there's about 16 or 17 of them. So, yeah. If I'm correct, the first two of them are tutorials. And this one, I'm going to be cutting the videos up in one piece. So, like, I'll be putting Expert Mission 1, Expert Mission 2, with the title of Who's the Boss, and etc, etc. So, it can help you out to navigate which video you're trying to go for. But yeah, I will try to help you out with the best ways, best possible way, everything. As I said, it's easy in the beginning, but after you start getting into higher expert missions, they get a bit more complicated. So yeah, and especially if you're in solo mode, it's a bit more, more of a nuisance. But yeah, as you can see, the first mission, it's going to be a tutorial. So let's go through it. Alright guys, so now that we loaded in, expert mission 1, tutorial 1, sorry. So the enemy is going to be obviously the great ape. Now this isn't any other quest that you've gone like parallel quests, as you can see right here. On expert missions, boss characters will use a text you won't see on ordinary quest. They're gonna start off with the first type of attack that they do. Brainwash attacks. I'm gonna show you an example of how it looks. As you can see, when this happens, when you see him starting to get purple, I recommend you start getting away from the enemy. Because it only works if you're close to him. But once that happens, it takes you to another dimension if your teammate does not help you. So it says, when you're hit with a brainwash attack, you'll be sent to a place called the World of Mind Control. You'll be fighting a false version of yourself. You must defeat him in order to regain control and return to the real world. Yeah, let me just defeat myself. Okay, simple enough. Now that was it. You defeated the imposter and returned to the real world. Now let's try rescuing a companion who has been hit with a brainwash attack. So this is how it looks when your teammate is getting hit. See, because how they're close, they were affected by it. If I was a bit farther, I wasn't. When they are affected, you must hurry up and hit them. That's it. Just go up to them and punch them. Now it's going to show us what happens when someone is brainwashed and we didn't make it in time. As you can see, your friend or teammate has turned into an enemy and what you must do is you must defeat them. So yeah, let me just get this enemy teammate enemy friend thing with you. Oh, we're still trying to counter those. So I got this one new move from the mentors that's called Shadow Crusher, and I'm still trying to get better at it by using that for when I see Key Blast coming at for me to try to block them or counter them. It's not easy, but <laughs> I'm still trying, guys. I'm still trying. But yeah, that's that's one of them. Not the move that I was talking about. As you can see, back to this. Crazy Lord has freed an ally from mind control. Now up with the gigantic key blast. What you want to do is hurry up and get in front of these so you can counter them. If you have high stamina, I recommend you blocking it. If you have high key, just keep hitting the the key blast with ultimate key blast or super key blast. I recommend ultimate since they're much stronger, obviously. Once you grab a hold on it, if you're stamina, it's you just gotta keep pressing the left button, well, the left mouse click. 
If you use it way too much, you run out of stamina, you just gotta wait for it. Now, obviously, it's not gonna be that easy. And when it's in a real fight, it's not gonna be that simple. But it's just a tutorial just to teach you how to defend yourself. But yeah, for great apes, those are the main two moves that they use. It's nothing that hard, like I said. Most of the expert missions that I did, if I'm correct, I don't think any of the great ape missions were hard. It's only, it only got hard when you're fighting actually like, you know, smaller enemies. So I'm talking about, um, Frieza, Cell, Turtles, all those kind of guys. I'm not talking about great apes, I'm talking about regular villains. But yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it. There's nothing much for me to explain for that. Like I said, it's something really easy. I'm pretty sure you'll get the hang of it. But I'm just here to go through each and every one of the missions and make sure I teach y'all how, or not teach y'all, but help y'all out, guide y'all through each and every one of them and make sure y'all can get whatever y'all want. Cause like I said, the harder the mission it is, the better the, the item or the skill that you can get from them. So yeah, the next one will be right here and I hope you guys enjoy and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.